Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about 10 products that I will not repurchase. Uh, I have used up all these products and now they are in my empties. Uh, so I thought instead of doing a random empties video, I will divide it into 10 products I will repurchase and 10 products I will not repurchase so that you can watch whichever version or whichever video you would like. So right now I'm going to talk about the products that I'm not going to repurchase and let's start the video. So the first empty is going to be this Dove Dry Shampoo. I've used it up completely but uh, as far as I know there was a massive recollection like there was a massive recall on this product internationally I think in US. Uh, there was a claim made uh, that this product contains uh, cancer causing ingredients. So they recalled it in US but here in India it doesn't happen. If you have bought something, it's going to stay with you until you die. So it's there with me. I used it up but I'm not going to repurchase because I'm not sure how uh, true that theory was, true that claim was. But it's better safe than sorry. So I'm not going to repurchase it for that reason alone. Otherwise the product was very good. It worked really beautifully. It smelled really good. So had it not been that case, I would definitely have repurchased it. But now we have that threat or hoax looming on our head so I'm not sure if I'll repurchase it. I have found a Batiste dry shampoo which is equally good. Now next empty is this bio oil. If you all know the brand claims uh, that this product uh, takes care of your stretch marks and it also evens out the skin tone. Uh, it also works on scars. I used this 200 ml bottle. I have stretch marks on my belly like the under belly, uh, underside of my belly uh, because of uh, delivery uh, but the marks are still there very much there and this bottle lasted me good one and a half months but it did absolutely nothing. I'm not sure how even out skin tone even my skin tone is but I don't think it did much. The oil is very light so it doesn't really good a good job at uh, moisturizing your skin. So this is very much hyped and I saw one of the dermatologists talking about this product that this is not worth the hype and I totally agree. I'm not sure about the uh, how the ingredients work in here but overall I do not think that this product is worth the hype because it doesn't really do much for your scars or your um, stretch marks. So what's the point? You can rather buy coconut oil and use it on your body. So yeah, I'm not going to repurchase it. Next I have this very expensive ceramide cream from Cosarex. Now I have heard that there are various types of ceramides. Some ceramides are quite expensive and some are not so expensive. So I bought this somewhere last year and it took me good 5 months to finish this tube up because you do not need more than a pea size amount. Um, I got so bored of using it because it lasted me such a long time. I used it during night only and um, I am not sure what it did for my skin. I would rather buy my Bioderma Etoderm Balm because uh, it works way better than this one. And this is very expensive. This was for I think 1800 rupees or something. So I'm not going to repurchase it but I'm definitely going to repurchase. I like I have replaced it with my Bioderma Etoderm Balm which is much better than this one. So yeah, I'm not going to repurchase it. I think it's it's overpriced. Now this next one is this Dot & Key Pea Peptide Moringa Hair Mask. I used it up completely. I even washed the tub. Uh, but I'm not going to repurchase it because it was very light for my dry hair. My hair is dry and they are very coarse and thick. So I definitely need something that can make them uh, soft. Uh, it is very very light so if you have oily or fine hair you can buy this because it has pea peptide. Uh, peptides are really good for your hair, it's very good for your skin. But I don't think it is uh, It is worth the hype. I do not really enjoy using it. It was, I mean it did absolutely nothing for my hair, no deep conditioning whatsoever. From the same range I have pea peptide and cysteine hair volumizing serum from Dot & Key. Um, to be honest, I do not know what it did because it did not do anything for my hair. I used it after washing my hair like on my damp hair and I even used it on my dry hair. But my hair remained the same. Uh, it did not tame the frizz. It did not make them smooth. It did absolutely nothing. It feels like water, like you have applied water on your hair. It might have done something but it did not do what I have expected it to do. 
so yes of, of course i'm not going to buy it at all i used it up completely it like i used it up um so quickly when i was alarmed because this product you no matter how much you use it doesn't do anything for your hair absolutely nothing next i have the silkening shower wash from uh, for essential this is in the fragrance parijat i did not like it it, it smelled like i don't know it doesn't smell nice and it uh, it makes my body dry so what's the point of buying expensive shower gel when it's going to make your body extremely dry i also did not like the mechanism there is so much of body wash left but i just cannot take it out i'm just trying to take out the stopper so that i can use whatever is left but i'm not going to buy it because it's not worth the price to be honest i have bought a uh, bioderma body uh, cleansing oil which is so much better than this this is 100 ml and this was priced to be i think 750 or 850 but that 200 ml bottle will cost you 1200 but it is so much worth the price so if you have dry skin do not spend it your money on such body washes instead buy body cleansing oil or any oil which is like medicated i'll not say medical grade but uh, something from the bioderma line or something from aderma or um, la roche posay these brands are really good if you want uh, products that are meant for dry skin that are going to work on itchiness and very dry and flaky skin so this is not worth the price i'm not going to repurchase it next i have this kama ayurveda cleansing and brightening uh, cleansing oil honestly i did not like it at all for two reasons first of all it is very oily very greasy secondly it stings if it gets into your eyes like it makes me temporarily blind i did not like it at all because you know what cleansing oil is supposed to clean your makeup right so it should not make you blind it should not sting in sting your eyes it it should be uh, easy to work with without making you blind you know i did not like it for the same reason and it is very thick i was afraid that it's going to clog my pores and break me out i still have almost half of the bottle left but i'm not going to use it because it is not worth the price like this was sent to me by the brand this is for 995 rupees and i'll tell you i'll sh show you another cleansing oil in my next video which is so worth buying buy a cleansing oil that is very gentle on your eyes because most of the times i use cleansing oil to get rid of my eye makeup because i wear waterproof mascara most of the time so i do not like to rub or tug too much around my eyes so i really wanted to have a cleansing oil that can take care of the makeup breakdown like especially for my eyes but it did not do anything at all i will not recommend it at all i have tried so many products from kama and i think this is the first time i am so disappointed disappointed in a product from them uh i also do not like their hair conditioners because they do not do not they do not do anything for your hair but this one was a sure done and these earrings are killing my ears i don't know why i wore them but they are very heavy this is the first and the last time i'm going to wear them very heavy next to this ras uh luxury rose nectar now this is a rose mist this it is a good product there is nothing wrong about it but it is so expensive this is for 640 rupees i would rather buy shesha ayurveda's rose distilled face mist because i think that price it should be 300 or something you get 200 ml uh, quantity and that is so much better this is just because it's a luxury brand it is so overpriced i don't think it's worth the price because it's just a face toner mist it's not going to do anything miraculous for your skin so you should buy you know 100% pure steam distilled rose water if you are very conscious about quality buy from an ayurvedic brand shesha ayurveda is a really good brand i have already bought a rose water and i think mogra water from them both are of excellent quality this is a good product there is nothing wrong about it but the pricing is so unjustified i think it was sent to me because i am a sane person i do not buy i'm not an impulsive buyer so i put in a lot of thought before buying anything and uh, this is so not worth buying so i'm not going to repurchase at all now there is this product from anastasia beverly hill this is their brow gel it dried up on me believe me i still have product left in there but it just doesn't come out it has already dried and it is such an expensive product and you do not expect such poor quality uh formula then you are paying 2000 rupees for an eyebrow gel i am very sensitive about my brows because there isn't much hair there 
but I do not really like to spend uh, money where where it's not worth, like where it is where, where I cannot justify. So this was my first brow gel from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and it was such a dud disappointment. I would rather buy Elf brow gel, which is like I think one fourth of this one price wise, and it is still going good. So I think uh, this wasn't worth the price. Their brow vis is good. I am still using the brow pencil from Anastasia, but I do not recommend you buy the gel because it just gets dried up so so quickly. I was so heartbroken because hello, I spent good two thousand rupees on this and it wasn't worth the money. Next, I have this L'Occitane Immortel Reset Serum. This stuff is for good six thousand rupees, like this small serum. It was sent to me by the brand because I just cannot spend. 6000 rupees on a serum and when I do not know what exactly it's going to do you know these days we are ingredient based customers so if you want if I want my skin to look smooth and nice I would invest in AHA BHA based product if I want anti-aging stuff I would invest in vitamin C serum or the retinol serum but if I'm buying it buying a facial oil I would want it to be uh, I don't know it to have sure shot results or I if I should know what the formula is going to do so this is supposed to be an anti-aging stuff it has immortal flower extracts I used it I liked it I'm not going to buy it because it is so expensive next is this only regenerates retinol like I used it up like this is my second bottle but why I'm not going to repurchase it because it is like a very beginner stuff uh, beginner friendly see my hair my hair my ear is about to cut into half because this thing is just painful so yeah so this is my this was my introduction to retinol honestly I really liked it I used it up like two bottles of retinol it is very gentle if you are a beginner do give this a shot very good stuff but I'm not going to repurchase it only because I have moved on to a higher uh, concentration of retinol right now I'm using one from minimalist but I'm definitely looking forward to a cream based uh, retinol formulation the one I'm using has an oil base and uh, it will be very hot very soon and I'm not sure if I would like to have oil on my face in the night because my skin is congestion prone and I might break out so I'm looking for a gentler formula not gentler like uh, a thinner formulation that can get into my skin quicker than an oil uh, this is nice but I would like to uh, step up my game when it comes to retinol so this is not going to work and I'm going to buy uh, a different retinol most probably from Ordinary or from I'm not sure from Sesderma they have a cream based uh, retinol based cream uh, for night time I might pick it I'm not sure I will look into it because I still have my minimalist uh, retinol going on but yeah I'm not going to repurchase. Before you guys start asking, the lipstick I have on is this Maybelline uh, Vinyl 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 Ink Super Stay in the shade number 10 Lippy. This is what I have right now. I I like this color and I also like the staying power. So this was it. Like these were the products that I'm not going to repurchase uh, in future for the reasons I've already mentioned. Uh, I'm also going to do a separate video on the products that I will repurchase and I really love them and they are like an indispensable uh, part of my skincare routine. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you found it helpful, do not forget to give it a big thumbs up. Do comment and let me know if you have any product that you will not repurchase or you regret buying. Do subscribe if you haven't already and like this video. I'll see you very very soon in my next video. Till then, take care and bye.